Hey everybody, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the bridge section of For the Love of God by C. By. Now this is uh, relatively simple, got a little hairy stuff at the end of it, but let's get right into it and then we're going to cover the chords that uh, this part works over. Alright, so we're going to start, we're back to the neck pickup now, and we got a nice melody pretty much all on the B string. Now he mostly figures this with his second finger, so just go... Slide into the 15th fret, then pick it, and slide it down to the 12, then pick it, slide it down to 10, then down to 8, then pick it, slide up to 12, and then a quick down to, slide down to the 5, then the 3. Alright, now this time when he plays it, he gives it a little bit of, uh, he articulates it a little bit with uh, some little bit of bar dives. So just slide into the 15 get. So he's doing the same note, but slide it, picking into the first one. So the other ones aren't picked. They're just given a little bit of a slight dip with the bar. Okay. Then I think the eight go. Slide up to the pick it and slide up to the twelve. Pick the twelve again. Right, and then you just come to the ninth, the uh, seventh fret on the G string here, and slide back and forth between the ninth and the seventh fret. Alright, then back to the melody like we did it before. Except this time he doesn't go all the way down to 8. He goes pick 15, slide to 12, slide to 10, then back to 12. Alright, but then we have. So we had this pick 10, 5 to 8, then 12, and do that twice. So Alright, so from that third time through. Alright, now while you're holding that 12 here. Alright, it's kind of the end of those that particular melody, uh, those three melody lines. And that is why you're holding your quick, quick slide up to the 15th fret. And then down to the five and the three. And when you get to that three, just do a slow, gradual release of the bar. I mean, bar dive. All right. Then we have this phrase. A whole step in <clears throat> and release at the 15th fret on the B string, and then you pick 15, slide it up to 17, and back, come back down to the 15. Do that twice. Then we have just tw tw trill still on the B string here between the 12th and 13th fret. <clears throat> Then slide down to 10, and then 8. Alright, now we have this figure, which a lot of times live will just go... Just those top two notes, but on the recording, I don't know if it's an overdub or whatever, but you also have the low note, basically doubling this top note on the low E string. So we're going to do all three. A good way of doing this, you can hybrid pick it. Or you can strum up off all six strings, you just got to use your first finger to mute those open strings that are sitting there, the uh, fifth, fourth, and third strings. So the fingerings are, everything is at the 13th fret, the second finger down here, the 13 on the low E string, 13th 
14th fret on the B string, and then 13th fret with your pinky on the high E string. So you strum those, and slide them down to 12, then 10. Slide back up to 12, then down to 8. Alright, so we have this phrase. Alright, so this was a little hairy. It's not that difficult though. It's mostly like pentatonic stuff and a little uh, arpeggio here to start at. So we have the 17th fret, slight bar dive, and, and, and bring it back up. We have this D major arpeggio, 14 on the high E, 15 on the B. 14 on the G. And slide down to the 11th fret on the G string and trill between 11 and 12. Then you're going to pull off 14, 12 on the D, then 14, 12 on the A. And slide that A down, down the 7th uh, fret here. here. Alright. Now the timing of this part is a little uh, going to be exact, but it, he's doing a trill, and he does this trill here between the seventh and ninth fret on the A string, and in the middle of it he slides up to the nine, kind of articulates that nine on that, and then he keeps trilling, and then does that again to end it. So All right, and we're gonna end this section with this. All right, so we have 19, 17, 15 on the uh, high E string. Then 19, 17, 19 on the B string. Then pick that 19 again and pull off to the 15th fret on the B. Now this last note is actually, I think, done on the recording. I think he just goes pulls back on the uh, the, the trim system, and the note frets out here. That the string frets out at the 22nd fret. It just kind of probably worked out for him in the studio. But um, when he plays it live, he usually just does the note that you hear there is the 22nd fret here um, on the high E string. When he usually does it live, I see him. He just kind of does a whole set bend at the 20th fret up to that 22nd fret. Because, you know, just pulling back on the bar and try, hoping that your, your string frets out there on that, that spot is kind of wishful thinking, you know. So we have... Uh, you can just pick it. Or... Do a whole stat bend into it just like he does it. Alright, so that's it for the bridge. We go back into some verses now. Let me cover the chords that work under this bridge. Um, it's a basic G major bar chord here. So we have, we have just the standard G major bar chord. Obviously, I hope you know this chord. If not, you should probably not watch it for the love of God lesson. But uh, we have, um, you know, the picking pattern just pick straight across from the sixth string to the first string, down back down to the second and the third string. This is the sitar part. All right, the next chord is this F chord. So take, uh, basically keep these three fingers the same, move them down. You're gonna release the bar. Uh, so we have the first fret, third fret, third fret. The, the G string is open. Put your second finger at the first fret on the second string and let that first string ring open as well. So, same picking pattern as the previous chord. It's a really nice chord. A little bit tricky to play though. All right, then do that E minor add nine that we did in the first uh, the chord progression for the verses. And remember that's picking across to, from the sixth to the first string and then coming back and hitting the third and fourth string. All right, then it goes to this D sus two chord. 
basically it's just a D major chord without with that instead of the seventh on the um, second string it's the fifth so you just have the two sevens on the two middle strings there or across these five strings at the fifth fret so you pick across this just from the fifth across to the first let that ring and then he does this little pattern in there which is just the seven on the G string to the five on the second string and then seventh on the D to the seventh on the G then come to four on the D two on the uh, G string then five on the A four on the D all right then we start back over with the G same chords as before and we get to the D this time just go just kind of pick across the string and strum it once just to stop it it stops early so we come back into the uh, the bridge melody all right so we'll catch you next time with the uh, next bridge sections all right so this song is really starting to pick up now I'll see you then bye bye